Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Cat's Cottage. I'm going to do a walkabout, and I'm going to do a, try to do a slow one because uh, it seems like the last one, I, it looked like I was racing, and I, I probably was trying to get away from the humidity, but it's early morning now, and I'm going to walk slow um, to get this tour in. Okay, here we go. Now, I don't have a mic on, so y'all have to excuse me about that, but this is on the side. These are ferns that have been here for a very long time, long, long time, and that fern that's tall over here, that's a, that's a more of a wild fern, but it is a fern, and here's some of it over here. Now, it's easy to grow. If you find it and you can transplant it, you find it in the wild, and you can bring it and transplant it in your yard. Put it in a shaded area. Although I do have some that's out front in the hot suns, but this fern, this other fern here, it's got to have some deep shade. This is the kind of fern that has come out of uh, those growing baskets that you buy. And each year, I would make another layer. At first, I had it layered at the back just in a circle with a, some kind of statue in that corner. And each year I would pull a piece of it out and bring it forward. And, uh, oh, of course, this is a cedar here, right here. They come in wild, they come in here all the time. I usually end up cutting them out, but they do smell good. This right here, this big lump, this is Mr. Mudhead. He's kind of, he's kind of in a sleep. He's uh, got some moss growing on him. Okay, I'm gonna try to move slow. Um, whoops! I see one of my baskets has broken from fall. We had some pretty good wind yesterday, and um, I don't have a lot of damage. I have some damage, but not a lot. And these are hostas. They've been here so long. And these are my, these are the hostas that I cut a little off of. Cut just a little, dig out a little root of. And, you know, I've given it to people. I've transplanted it other places. And uh, they don't like the sun. They like light and cool feet, but they don't like the sun. Okay, that's my patio there. I'll try to go slow. Now yesterday the wind was blowing so hard, you know, I told you I'd had trouble with that green stuff in the pool. Well, the wind blew it all down to this end right here, and I saw it off the balcony. And I thought, well, it's, it's all down here. So I got out here with a broom and just swept it right out of the pool. But I'm sure more is going to pop up. This used to be a really big bush here. It would fill this hole. It went all the way over the concrete, all the way up to the pool, and all the way over on this side, and the snow killed it back. So this is what I have left. Not worried about it because I know I know what it'll do. It'll grow huge. Okay. I usually take this plant here and put it into the greenhouse every year. Sometimes I cut it way back so it won't be in the way. Okay. I'm trying to watch the screen here so I don't get to going so fast. Here's some morning glory that's coming up. I know y'all can probably hear in my air conditioning. I'm 
I'll come on around. where I store all my feed and cans, keep it locked down. That's my big composter that I put kitchen waste in. Those two tubs there, I dump the compost in there and I mix it. Just sort of keep it there. I don't plant over there. Just stir that. Use the dirt over there. It's a work spot. Here's one of the little tomatoes that have come out of the compost. And that's my greenhouse right now, and it's it's emptied out. Emptied everything out because it's just too hot. This growing up here is a wisteria, and it's blooming a little bit now. And the hummingbirds are real possessive of it. You start trimming on it, and they'll they start they'll carry on. They'll come and needle you on the head, try to make you leave it alone. Now this is an azalea here. Um, it's really, it's really growing over this path. This is the new peach. Okay. This is that Louisiana flag. And then there's some, here's some of that. Um, Carolina flower, that yellow bell. And this is a plum tree back there. And that camellia bush right there in the middle there was grown over this area and it died back from the from the snow. And this is one of those uh, snowball bushes and it grows huge and it has to be cut back just to keep it under control. This is just my storage building there. This is Autumn Joy. It's right here. This is that lizard plant that you have to keep it under control too. up so you can see how that looks while I open the gate. I apologize if my voice fades out and in. I don't have a mic on. Okay. Alright, here we go. This is what I see first out the gate. This is my Mary Jane Magnolia over my head. Uh, not in bloom right now. It's through blooming. This over here is a weed I got from my daddy's house down there in Dolphin Island, Alabama. It's I want to say it's uh, it has the name of it is something like Old Joe or Papa Joe or something like that. I don't know, but it. It, uh, it's real aggressive. You have to be really careful with it. And it does have some blooms to it that smell really good. So if you find some and pick it out of the woods, uh, you gotta keep, you gotta watch it because it will take over. Okay, so I hope I'm, hope I'm going slow enough now. I said last time I was gonna go slow and I just rushed through that. Flocks, canna lilies. And this down here is more of that lizard. Okay, and this is the crepe myrtle here. I have to remember to bring my camera up because right now I have crepe myrtles mostly blooming. That's what I have. Okay, here's a pot over that is. Probably from the wind. I probably need to come and get that and put that in a more secure place. Okay. Blackberries. 
like berries in there against that lattice uh, and flocks two different colors of flocks and canna lily I got some yellow got some pink and some red and uh, Okay, this is, a, this is a pink crepe myrtle. They've gotten so tall, as y'all can see, they're way up there. I've debated if I should cut them down to where I can see the bloom. Because I can't see the bloom anymore. The neighbors can, and the planes can. Okay, there's another hosta in a pot. And other miniature ones. These and these pots have been in the pots for some time. That's that Autumn Joy that blooms pink and then burgundy. And I always have a lot of morning glory that come in and pull around stuff. And it's so hot back here. It gets hot and humid. I just, it's kind of best to let, let it grow because it, it helps uh, shade some of the plants. Um, okay. Now I'm out here before the sun hits, so uh, yeah, I hope to go shopping later, so that's while I'm out here pretty early. I'll go ahead and take you in. You're blushed. Yeah, I'll put up all my tomatoes. Um, yeah, I got all my tomatoes put away. I ended up having to freeze some of them because I had so many. Okay. And all this white on the ground is the crepe myrtle uh, blooms dropping from the wind. Okay. And this is one of those trump vines that just determined to grow. Just determined. I've cut that thing and cut that thing and said, oh, I'm a, this used to be a rose up here and it passed away. And here's a lavender um, grape myrtle out here that kind of, for some reason, it stays miniature. Okay. I'm going to try to walk slow. There's another Crepe myrtle up there, the pink one, fuchsia. Oh, yeah, this one really got hit by the wind, that grape myrtle, that white one. Well, that was drooping like wisteria, but it really got hit. Our, our uh, hurricane weather was uh, wind, mostly. Intermittent, a little bit of rain, but uh, mostly wind. Okay. I'm going to come back. Don't want to walk too fast. Okay. To Rebecca. And that's all. Uh, Rebecca with some mint. I believe that's no, that's that flower that uh, this is the plant that has in the fall it has a purple flower. So that should be coming on pretty soon. This Rebecca is not totally open yet. like I'm walking on snow.
This is a yellow azalea. Bought on a discount shelf about eight years ago. And it's gotten really tall. Blooms nice. And this is phlox, and you can see here, uh, this is the dryness that from out here. Okay. I'll pull this too. There is a deer right there against the fence, but that was the deer I used to draw up deer when I went hunting. I uh, used that deer as a dummy, put a little scent on it. Okay, I'm walking slow here. That's my junk shelves where I keep stuff. My greenhouse, it's, it's not really got anything in it right now, no kind of plants. Um, got a lot of the plants I just shifted out here. But anyway, I just want to say good morning. And uh, because I did a fast in and out I, other day, I kind of made folks dizzy. So I decided to uh, go again. I hope I went slower this time. Anyway, y'all have a good day. Bye-bye.